Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. This is the Four O'Clock Funnies. We have lots of funny ladies here today. My name is Jane Condon. I'll be your host. And, and my name is Jane, if you like me. Uh, if you don't like me, my name is Catherine Rose. And now for a few <laughs> words from Catherine Rose. <laughs> well, thank you, Jane. Thank you so much. Um, I am, as Jane said, of Catherine Rose, the CEO and founder of Wise Her. Welcome everyone to the Wise Her Facebook page. And, you know, Jane and I talked about doing this because we both know how important it is to laugh, you know, in the, in the difficult times. And, you know, when everything got shut down and, and, and my kids ended up in the closet, I mean, home with me, um, I decided that I called Jane and I said, you know, I want to do something funny. So I'm going to go on my Facebook page every day at four o'clock and read from my kid's joke book. And she said, please don't do that. So take it away, Jane. Let's have some laughs today. Thank you everyone for joining us for four o'clock funnies and enjoy. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine, for getting us all together. We're so happy to be here. I have two friends with me. I want you to know it's not just me. I have the wonderful Kathy Ferris and the inimitable, oh, I like that word, uh, Kelly McFarland. And we know each other from Boston Comedy Chicks and we know each other from Women in Comedy Festival. We're gonna tell you about me first. Um, I'm Jane and I live in Connecticut, which is why I look like this. <laughs> we have a lot of turtlenecks here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've been married for a long time. So I want to say this about same-sex marriage, honestly. What is the problem? My husband and I have had the same sex for 41 years, okay? <laughs> I've been doing that joke since we were married 26 years, so that's an old chestnut. Okay, so uh, I have two boys. Otherwise, everything's fine. They are killing me. Nobody listens. I ask them simple questions. I say, guys, where are you going? Why is this picture on Catherine? Why is it not on me? I have no idea. Oh, okay. Keep I going. <laughs> All right. Okay. So then, <laughs> so two boys, otherwise everything's fine. Killing me. Nobody listens. I ask them simple questions. I say, guys, where are you going? What are you doing? When are you going to be back? And they said, bye, mom. Okay, whatever. They blow me off. So I'm thinking, okay. Clearly, I've got to change my delivery. So now I'm there. Where you going? What you doing? When you going to be? When you going to be? When you going to be back? Ba 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 back. Ba 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 back. Ba 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 back. Then mom, stop. We will tell you whatever you want to know. Just don't ever ever do that again, mom. <laughs> like it's my fault. They did this to me. They like the rap music. And there, guys, we live in Greenwich, Connecticut. How ghetto can you and your J. Crew shirts get? <laughs> I hate this music. I can't get it out of my head. I'm at the supermarket. Sweet little lady at the checkout counter pulls out her checkbook. Gonna take forever. I should be patient. I should be thinking, take your time. But no, in my head, I'm there. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way. Oh my God. I'm gonna get kicked out of Connecticut. That's what's gonna happen. Oh dear. <laughs> So I do hate all the rappers except for two. Uh, I really love Cardi B. Do you know Cardi B? Girls, do you know Cardi B? Yes, C-A-R-D-I-B. Oh, I love her. I love her. And she says, went from making tuna sandwiches to making the news. I went from making tuna sandwiches to the four o'clock funnies. <laughs> <laughs> and I love how she says, uh, started speaking my mind and tripled my views. That's what we should all do. But my, my absolute favorite of all the rappers is Lizzo. Uh, be, oh, she can play the flute. I mean, that's truly amazing. And she can dance, she can do it all. And she says, um, hair toss, check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? Feeling good as hell. So if all the audience were here, I would have you repeat. Actually, I'll have you ladies repeat after me. So baby, how you feeling? Everybody feeling good baby, as how hell. You feeling? Good as hell. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Kelly clearly has the best voice. All right. So anyway, I want to ask um, all of our listeners and viewers if they have a favorite comfort food, because this is our burning question today. We're going to have one burning question every day. And by the way, we'll be here Monday through Friday, four o'clock, just 10 minutes. We may, you know, go over a dribble over a little bit today because who's keeping track? Okay. We have time to kill. Okay, there's nothing to do in the, okay, anyway, we're not first line offenders, defenders. <laughs> we're not frontline workers. 
<laughs> we might be first line that. offenders. We're not first line offenders. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> but okay, okay. so I want to um, tell you all, my favorite comfort food these days is dark, 70%, dark chocolate almonds. Now, I know I should just eat the almonds. I know, you know, what was it? Barack Obama, seven almonds a day, but these are desperate times, okay? And... Um, <laughs> I've already had two today. <laughs> I'm gonna have one after the show. That's my reward for doing it. Okay, but anyway, I wanna hand the ball over to Kathy Ferris. So let me tell you a little bit about, about her. Well, first I'm gonna ask her what your favorite comfort food is, Kathy, and then I'll, I'll do your intro. This is very lengthy. Uh I, I think anybody who knows me knows that snack cakes, really any kind of snack cake is my Absolute favorite comfort food. I actually pay people in snack cakes. You like who? Like co comedians. If you do my show, I'm going to pay you. <laughs> that uh, like Hostess, Twinkies. Do you have a favorite brand? Yeah, we do a poll. Yeah, I mean, my favorite is Entermans. Like, if I had to rank oh. them. Oh no, that's not a snack. That's yeah. a that's Jane, a food yeah. group. That's no. a food group. Yeah. I love Entermans. Yeah. Right. I don't want to have a debate with you in public on this right now because. <laughs> All right. So let me give yeah, Kathy her intro and her time. Uh, she's Kathy, K-A-T-H-E. Okay. So, you know, not that C and K-Y stuff. <laughs> anyway, uh, she is amazing. She has her own show, you know, when the world is back to normal. Wednesday nights at 9.30 at Improv Boston. It's called Ferris and Friends. She's also an instructor for Laugh University. Um, She's done it all. She is loved throughout Boston. Uh, I love bringing her down to the New York area because uh, to me, she's very deadpan. I, don't, I mean, okay, you, you can be very lively if you want to, but I feel like she's an original and fresh voice in comedy. And I'm very happy to share her with our viewing audience today. This is Kathy Ferris. Thanks, Jane. I actually think I'm pretty animated, but okay, we'll go with this. <laughs> I'm excited about doing this. For years, I've been saying, why don't we just do stand up from our homes? I mean, this is great. Now everybody can see my husband's Lego collection. So <laughs> it's, um, you know, most people, like most husbands, have trophies or I don't know, mistresses. My husband has Legos. This is uh, Harry Potter's. Um, oh, hold it up I can't see it. Oh, sorry. Here you go. Well, this is, this is the guy. Uh, I just showed one sample of this this isn't even part of my act you guys you're welcome I, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I was free. here's the thing with this everything that's happening really my life hasn't changed at all this is exactly how my life goes um, <laughs> nothing has changed on my schedule except for doing a show in the lego room instead of <laughs> in shrewsbury tonight so this is great one of the things that I'm constantly hearing, and you hear it so much more now, it's like, don't sweat the small stuff. Don't sweat the small stuff. Are you kidding me? If we didn't, I sweat the small stuff, we should, if, if we didn't sweat the small stuff, you know what would happen? We'd have things like burnt Doritos. Ever have a burnt Dorito? Oh, no. no. And Terrible. you're welcome. Because of people like me, because I report this kind of shit, right? <laughs> Nobody in the greater Boston area is experiencing a burnt Dorito. And it's not like a small thing like calling a 1-800 number. Nope. You got you to gotta send an email. You got to upload a picture. You got to learn how to upload a picture and send an email about a burnt Dorito. It's just a lot. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going on you about that. You send this to headquarters? Website. Where do you send this? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. You oh. send Frito-Lay.com. Dear um, president. Okay. Yeah. Jane, it's a real thing. I mean, I'm really brand. It's no, a I, thing. It I know you process. care about it. My kids love Doritos. It's a thing. People love, I'm a Fig Newton girl, but Dorito is fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I also, um, you know, for some light reading for people, um, I have the Twinkie. <gasps> oh, I love it. Oh, it's a cookbook? Um, oh. Yeah, it's a cookbook. Well, there's not a lot of cooking going on. Um, <laughs> That's my kind of cooking. I would recommend the sushi uh, Twinkie. What? It's yeah. Fix or it didn't happen. What? Fix or it didn't happen. Show us <laughs> what that looks like, Kath. Oh yeah. What does that look like, Kath? Looks like this. Can you see it? Oh, it actually is. Well, it's really a fruit roll-up, but <laughs> that's my kind of sushi. <laughs> that's right. hilarious. 
I don't know if I'm over my time. I didn't even get to my set, which is hilarious. You can do your set if you want. That's okay. You want to do it today or tomorrow? You want to do it tomorrow? I guess I'll do mine tomorrow. But Kelly, I, as promised, I brought my little hands. Oh, yay. Yay. tiny yeah. hands, tiny hands. Um, yeah, those will be from, uh, I have a new show that's coming out. Jane, I didn't know if you would put this in my credits, um, <laughs> called tiny hands, big talk, and that'll be coming out. Soon. Oh, that's, I saw your picture tiny on hand. Instagram to your husband. You had the tiny hand and he didn't notice. I had a tiny hand. I, uh, uh welcome everyone welcome by the way i'm kelly mcfarland uh i have tiny hands kath will you hold them up i don't have mine with me right this second yeah so here's the tiny hand and i took a tiny hand and i held it to my i was like had them in my sweatshirt <laughs> sleeves and i had a full conversation with my husband while like gesturing like thinking mm -hmm. and being worried <laughs> and he didn't notice at all like, That's it. not at all and I'm a trained actor, so I was like, I'm going to keep this bit going until you wake up and look at me. Um, he was looking at me, but he looks through me. I I mean, to be fair, uh, we have been stuck in this house together for quite some time. So uh, it makes sense that he's probably not looking at my hands and noticing anything <laughs> different. I'm going with, he thinks I'm so petite that he was like, oh, she's so delicate. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just want to point out quickly that I have, um, I'm very open about this. I have, uh, I have a compulsive disorder, a compulsive anxiety disorder. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who's reached out to me and been like, how are you doing? Are you okay? This must be your worst nightmare. And I have to be honest with all of you. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I've been training for this my entire life. Like I had all the stuff already. Like those of you that are like, oh my God, do you have any, do you have any hand sanitizer? Yes. Our shed is filled with a snowblower and barrels of hand sanitizer. Please don't rob me. So yeah, I already wash my hands 50 times a day. Like now I just feel like you've all come to my level and I'm really excited about it. My husband said to me, Jane, are you a, pre are you a prepper? And you know, after 9-11, I, I, I still have tuna and toilet paper in the basement from 9-11. So I really I have toilet paper thing happened. And they're like, oh, that's for amateurs. You know, yeah. I've been shocked for a long time. I get why people are buying toilet paper. Like I actually why? find it frustrating when people are like, what's with the toilet paper? I'm like, uh, what's with your toilet paper then? Like, you don't think that's an important thing to stock up on? Like, uh, you're just using your hand? Like, Did you see the cartoon that the alien comes down years from now and says, I don't know what these humans were, but they had clean rear ends. That he was, I thought that was hilarious. We're just trying to keep a clean surface for you to work on when they all come and rescue us. Um, yeah, it's been a, this is a rocky road for everybody. And Kath, to your point, this does feel pretty normal. <laughs> other than I don't leave the house at night and I am never alone. Oh, <laughs> tell them where you are. Oh, I'm on my bed. This is my favorite place <laughs> to be. I'm on my bed. Um, because this place is not great at night. Not going to lie. Um, because I sleep next to the shittiest accordion ever. It's a wildebeest. My husband. So when I get to be in here and it's quiet, I'm really excited about it. Well, you know what? We're doing it kind of backwards. I didn't get to give your credits. Oh, it's fine. But let me Google me. Oh, oh, well, Google her, but she's Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y. No, there's E-Y baloney. No. And Mac Farland, M-A-C, like our son Mac, F-A-R-L-A-N-D. And um, I forgot to say that Kathy's been a finalist in the Boston Comedy Festival. I think you were the first runner up in the Boston. It's a very prestigious festival, you ladies. Yeah, I was the first woman ever to make it to the finals. Wow. Yeah, if that tells you anything. About yeah, I think. Things. Come on, hand clap. I was the first woman who made it who could look like a man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, can I tell you about my snack? Yeah, yeah, please, snack, snack. So my snack, 
cake, my snack, comfort food snack is not necessarily like a, an actual snack specific. It's anything that's pre-packaged for me. Oh, so, nice. So, yeah. Because I'm like a hungry labradoodle. Like if you put down a box, I'm just going to be like, <laughs> so I have to have like, there has to be a beginning, middle and end. So today I'm showing you mini Pepperidge Farm chunk cookies. Pepperidge oh, I love them. them. Pepperidge Farm. 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 You got three girls from Boston here originally, or four. Catherine. Farm. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually originally from Connecticut, so you know, I. I don't oh, you and I were a hostage exchange then. We were. <laughs> yes, we were hostage exchange exactly. Well, I think we should wrap this up until tomorrow. We hope people will come back, and um, we'll have another burning question tomorrow, and we'll have three blondes and Jane. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again. So bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Tiny hand wave. <clears throat> Tiny, Tiny hand, hand wave. wave. <laughs> Wait, like that. <laughs> <laughs>